Welcome back to Election 360, where we have tabs on all political activities happening in Ghana for you. Time now, though, on the show for Constituency Watch. And today we are focusing on the Adenta constituency, one of the very tricky ones many MPs have, been able, have not been able to annex a second term in office. Joining me in studio for that analysis is my colleague Joseph Akablay to walk us through what to expect or what the dynamics have been for the Adenta constituency all these years. Joseph, thank you for joining us. So, yes, take us through what's happening. Adenta is in focus today. Yeah, very interesting constituency. So it was created in 2004. So since 2004, they saw it as looked by way of the presidential outcome. The NDC, interestingly, has picked it up four times with the MPP winning one. The MPP won in 2016 there. In terms of the parliamentary, that is where the big discussion is all about this time around because of the fact that since it was creation in 2004, the MPP, they've had a seat twice with the NDC also having a seat three times in 20, 2008, 2012, and 2020 and also going into 2024 so the ndc has the seat and uh, now the 2024 dynamics is quite interesting it's a tough race between mohammed adamu ramadan the current member of parliament who interestingly is related to the second lady samira uh, bahomia coming up against akosia menu who is a member of the governing new patriotic party now what makes this dynamic interesting is the fact that since the constituency was created in 2004 no candidate has gotten a second term so it's either you lose at the level of your party primaries mm. or you lose in the main elections. <laughs> okay. So there are those who won the elections proper, they lost their party primaries so they couldn't seek a second term. Right. Then there are those who actually won their party's primaries but they lost. Mm. So uh, Mr. Mohammed Ademur Ramadan will be seeking to make history going into the 2024 election by being the first to serve a second term. And so that is a very interesting dynamic that we have here from the Adentan constituency. And we are unable to tell what exactly the constituents look out for. It is just probably they are thinking that nobody should have two terms as member of parliament, which seems to be the standard for the presidential. I think we tend to see that a lot in areas that are quite cosmopolitan and also particularly in areas where it is not being annexed by a particular political party. And so if you've not been able to, so you can do a contradistinction between that and maybe a place like Dome Kwabinyan. Mm. I mean, if a party has a hold for a period of time, you're able to establish your control and then say that, look, this is your stronghold. Mm. So even the presidential results even tells that story. I mean, it's 4-1 here. So it tells you clearly that, I mean, in terms of this part of it, they tend to vote for that particular party NDC. But when you come to the parliamentary, then you see clearly the difficulty in here. Mm. If the numbers are anything to go by, then we expect the MPP to win because they don't give anyone a second term. Right. But we never know what uh, Mr. Ramadan will be doing. But... Crosby went to the area and mm. uh, he found out something quite interesting. It's interesting that you mentioned that. So, I mean, beyond the analysis and the numbers we bring to you, so you can also follow the genesis and the current situation in the constituency. We also like to go to the ground to speak to some of the people and to ascertain a number of things. What would inform their decision to vote? What their main concerns are? What they look out for in their candidate? So, um, Crosby, uh, Noble Crosby Annan has been to the constituency, engaged a number of people, and has put together this report. Adenton constituency, a bustling constituency located in the Greater Accra region, has emerged as a pivotal battleground ahead of the December 7 general elections. The constituency has long been the center of a political tug of war between the ruling NPP and the opposition, the NDC. The constituency has seen the opposition NDC win the presidential elections four times while the ruling NPP has won once since its creation in 2004. On the parliamentary front, the situation mirrors a tight contest. A swing constituency since its inception, Adenten has produced five members of parliament, with Mohammed Adamu Ramadan of the NDC being the incumbent. Ramadan aims to be the first MP to break the one-term jinx that has plagued his predecessors. Presenting a formidable challenge to Mohammed Adamu Ramadan is Akushia Menu, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the National Youth Authority. Her candidacy has injected fresh energy into the MPP's campaign, positioning her as a strong contender in this high-stakes electoral battle. As the election approaches, both parties are ramping up their efforts to win over voters. Campaign rallies, door-to-door -door engagements, and social media outreach are all in full swing as candidates strive to make their case. 
Our Denton's electorate is diverse, comprising long-term residents and new arrivals. The question is, what will you consider before you vote? You can see my road. I have a very bad road with big, big potholes. The dust is, is, is worrying me a lot. Every time we are having cold and I think I have to vote for another person, that we need a change. Our dental roads are very, very bad, especially from Vitri, Vitri Pesby, Kwai, Nilegon, everything is out of control. We be a your power dental. Nothing is going on. The same old story now. So I don't see, there's no sense that so now it's about keeping Ramadan also. So we have to change it. Our roads are bad and cost of living now is is very terrible. Number one. Maybe uh your way to see a year coin yet. Our roads are poor. It's even worse when it rains. Our gutters are also choked. People complain about water too. Although we pay water bills, our taps do not flow. For some electorates, they may boycott the elections entirely as the change they have sought for for years has eluded them. So far, I don't see any improvement. They are all the same, you know, they are all lying to us here and there because I don't see any improvement. So I, I'm not voting. I me, mean, I, I know they really vote safe. Whatever they are bringing, Biano, Charlie, they will talk about this and this and this, blah, 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 blah. We, we, they can't do this, we, they can't do this. We know, we know, we know, go see nothing. Well, the mix in the Adentan constituency adds complexity to the political landscape as different segments of the population have varying priorities and concerns, making them desire for more or a change or lose interest generally. Global Cross Biano, TV3 News, Adentan constituency. All right, so at least beyond the numbers, you also know what's happening on the ground, where they cry about roads and infrastructure, which is their major concern in their Dentan constituency.